Hey there, Leo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of February, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future. Okay, energies. Also, Leo, if this reading resonates and you would like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box. Ooh, intense below. You're showing up twice in the current situation. Um, also, Leo... If this reading resonates and you want to say thank you, donation link is below, and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. What's the confusion here, Leo? What is the confusion? Main energy for your reading is the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck, you get the Page of Swords. You have a lot of doubts, and you're very, very confused and unsure about this connection. This is definitely a connection. It's diving deep. It's bringing out something within you. Um, this is a meaningful connection, too. I'll get to that in a second. In the recent past, you get the Two of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Nine of Wands. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, another Leo. Um, those are the prominent signs showing up here, but obviously this is for everybody. And the numbers that I'm seeing are 9, 8, and 6. So um, you're very, very confused as to why it's like always an uphill battle with this person in this connection. Why is there so much resistance? Why are there so many walls that you keep hitting when it comes to this person? It's like we resolve one problem, then there's another. And then we get over this hump and then there's another. It's like it's constantly wall after wall after wall. And you're like, what the heck? Why is it like this? In the current situation, you get the king of wands, which is you. I don't assign gender to my cards. The lovers and the strength, which is you again. Your higher self is really kicking in in the current situation and trying to get you to realize or understand something about this connection, about this divine connection. Um, we'll see exactly what this is because I feel like it's also your higher self communicating with you, but you're also coming to a lot of realizations here in the 3D world as a result of this connection. In the near future, you get the Ten of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Five of Swords. There's a lot of difficulty, but this difficulty... Whatever the difficulties are, I don't know who's causing them, but somebody is showing me it's because they're not accessing their emotions. This person is very logical, very practical, and I use that in air quotes because this is how they view themselves. I don't feel like they're as logical, practical, rational as they would like to have themselves believe um, because they're also showing me the five of swords here. This is my BS card. So this person could be telling themselves, I'm so logical, I'm so rational, I, I'm, you know, I'm not emotional, and that's nonsense. It's the fact that they're not emotional. It's the fact that they don't allow themselves to access their emotions, which is making, making things difficult here. Let's clarify and see. I want to see what the Two of Swords is for you as the main energy for your reading. Two of Swords is clarified by the Tower, the Eight of Swords, and the Justice. You don't understand. You like you literally cannot figure out why this connection keeps crumbling. Every time we build, it falls. It's like a house of cards. We can only build so far. We can only get so far, right, before everything collapses again. And you're showing me I can't figure it out. And you're spending a lot of time in your head trying to think, trying to understand, trying to figure out, like, why is this connection not moving forward? Um, it's literally like you guys go through not even cycles, but it's like things are good, good, good. And then they're not. And when they're not, it just completely like burns everything to the ground. And then again, there's balance, there's calmness, everything is good. And then bam, it like, it's like we can only progress to a certain point before it all comes crashing down. And you're showing me like, I genuinely, I have racked my brain trying to figure out why this happens. I don't understand. I don't know why this keeps crumbling. This keeps falling. This keeps just burning to the ground every so often. Let's take a look at the two of pentacles in the recent past. Two of pentacles is clarified by the knight of cups, the queen of wands, and the hierophant. On the one hand, you're showing me, I do love this person. I do want to give them my love. I do want to receive love from them. On the other hand, sometimes it's just easier for you to do your own thing and focus on yourself and literally just be like, forget this connection, forget this person, forget feelings. Let me just be my hot, gorgeous, amazing, radiant self and let me just go do me, right? There is a lot of confusion around that. And I also feel like Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, your person is very, very hot and cold. There's a lot of mixed messages from them and a lot of times... 
I don't even know if they're trying to like confuse you on purpose, but you are getting like whiplash from the back and forth with this person. Sometimes they're hot, sometimes they're cold. Sometimes they're in, sometimes they're out. And you're like, wait, what is it going to be today? Are you into me? Or are you not into me? Do you want to be with me? Do you not want to be with me? Um, and again, this is in your recent past. So I do see a lot of confusion surrounding that. Let's take a look at the hermit in the recent past. Hermit is clarified by the Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords. You get the Five of Swords again in the near future. Deep down, you want a new beginning in love with this person. You're showing me. I love them. They love me. Like, I do want a new beginning in love. I do want to start over. I do want to come together and rebuild. Rebuild a solid foundation. Rebuild a solid connection. Rebuild the trust here. That's what you truly, truly want deep down. However, I do also feel like there's a little bit of you BSing yourself here in the recent past in terms of, no, I don't want this. I'm over it. I'm done with it. I don't want to do this again, blah, blah, blah. You can tell yourself anything that you want, and sometimes you may even believe it, but your higher self is showing me that you deep down want a new beginning and you want to rebuild here. Let's take a look at the nine of wands in the recent past. Nine of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Hermit, which you just got in the Three of Swords. The reason you keep telling yourself, oh, I don't want this, I'm over it, I'm, I'm done with this, I don't want to do this again, you know, yada, yada, is because you find it easier to emotionally detach and emotionally disconnect than admit to yourself, I want a new beginning in love, I want, oops, I want to reconcile here. And along with that comes all this emotional pain that you have to deal with, right? Uh, because it hurts. It hurts to want something and not get it. It hurts to want someone and for them to be like hot and cold in and out sending you mixed messages. So I can see why you're doing that. It's easier to tell yourself, I don't want this. I'm over it. I'm done with this. Like forget this person, forget this connection. Instead of admitting, I do still want them. And I am still hurting over the fact that like, I don't have them. I can see that. And this is in your recent past. So let's see if something shifted in the current situation. We'll start off with the King of Wands in the current situation. King of Wands is clarified by the Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands. You do, despite everything, still view this person as the person for you, as the person that you want to have a brand new beginning with and wipe the slate clean with and have a long-term stable connection with. You view that as success. If I was like, what do you want out of this connection? You're like, I want us to have a stable, successful, long-term relationship. Like you're crystal clear on what you want. You're also showing me though that the past, not so great. Like something between you and this person, y'all got some history and the history is not pretty. There's a lot of regret. There's a lot of remorse. There's a lot of uh, not the best energy tied up to this past and you're showing me despite that I want us to overcome the past and I do want us to have a relationship together I do want us to be together long term it seems like in the current situation you're a little bit more honest with yourself like you've come to terms with what you want but you are still showing me like the past freaking sucked let's take a look at the lovers in the current situation Lovers is clarified by the Ten of Swords, Everything is Fine card, the Fool, and the Five of Pentacles. Things ended, and it sucked, and the ending was painful. And you're showing me, doesn't matter. You know, I want to wipe the slate clean. I want to have a new beginning with this person because this is a soul connection as far as you're concerned. This is a deep connection. It's a soul connection. Like, this person is not just another person that you dated for a little bit. You're like, oh, it didn't work out. Like, this is deep. This connection is deep. And you're showing me in the current situation, I'm really experiencing like the loss of this connection, the loss of this person. Like I'm feeling the feelings of I miss you. I don't want to be without you. Um, and I, I can understand that. Now, again, you are telling yourself everything's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Right. This is my 10 of swords, but everything is fine. So there's a lot of you convincing yourself. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But at least you're not suppressing what you want. You're showing me what I want is this person. What I want is just literally, let's wave a magic wand and let's start over. Let's start from scratch. Let's take a look at the strength in the current situation. It's a difficult, it's, it's difficult. I can see what you want, but there's a lot of resistance. There's a lot of resistance here. 
The strength in the current situation is clarified by the temperance, the ten of swords, and the high priestess. The thing is, you guys haven't been done for like a day or two. This isn't that you just broke up like yesterday or two days ago. You've been done for a while. And deep down, you know that. And you're showing me like, maybe I'm missing something here. Like maybe there's something that I'm not seeing because if they missed me as much as I missed them, if they still want this connection as much as I think they do, how are they so okay with us being done for so long? That's kind of weighing on you a little bit in the current situation. Let's take a look at the near future, see if anything shifts. I'm going to see the 10 of wands in the near future. Ten of Wands is clarified by the King of Swords, which you get again in the near future, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Chariot. Despite the difficulties, okay, I do feel like your person, whoever it is that's the logical one in this connection, right, that's making things more difficult, they are coming around. Things are shifting in a very positive direction here. It's just a matter of time. So this energy in the current situation of maybe they don't miss me, maybe they don't want me, you're going to realize in the near future very, very quickly that that's not the case. They do. I do see a very positive shift in energies and really the ball is getting rolling. Like if the energies have been stuck in the current situation, in the near future, they pick back up again and they pick up quite rapidly. Let's take a look at the King of Swords in the near future. King of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords, Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. The reason they pick up in the near future, the reason nothing's happening in the current situation but things start shifting in the near future is because this person who prides themselves on being logical and practical and yada, 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 they get clarity. They get clarity. They get clear on something. And they've been dragging their feet. They've been moving very, very slowly until they got to this point of getting the clarity that they're looking for. Once they get that in the near future, they're comfortable moving way more quickly, moving more rapidly, not dragging their feet as much. I don't know what clicks for this person in the near future, but it's something. And the second it clicks, this person's like, okay, let's go. Let's take a look at the five of swords in the near future. Five of Swords is clarified by the Judgment, the Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. You got the Two of Pentacles in the recent past opening up your reading, and you get it closing off your reading. Um, here's the thing. This person, right, whoever it is in the recent past that wants love but is also kind of like maybe it's easier for me to focus on myself, I do feel like that's you, Leo. You do want this connection back. And when this person comes back in the near future, you're like, yay, there's like this exchange of energies. You know, you're texting them, they're texting you, there's conversation, the energies are flowing, everything's good, right? But you're showing me, you're still tying me back to this, which is like, yes, this feels good, and I do want love from this person, and I do want love, and I do want to give them love, but maybe it's just easier for me to just do my own thing. Like, this person is a lot of work as far as you're concerned, and you're showing me, like, you know, we've been down this road before, and how first of all how am I supposed to know that this isn't going to happen again right but moreover like yes it feels good that we're talking again we're exchanging energies you know we're both on the same page but sometimes maybe it is just easier for me to just do my own thing so there's a little bit of you kind of like not being sure in the near future but again you do want a new beginning because you're showing me the five of swords you do want a new beginning in love and you do want to rebuild this trust with them but once it starts happening in the near future, then you start questioning it and you're like, is this juice actually worth the squeeze? Like, this is a lot of freaking work. Is it worth it? And I don't know. You know. You're going to have to answer that yourself. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Leo. From the universe, you get the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Wands. You're spending a lot of time in your head trying to figure out like is this connection worth all the effort that it's going to take because I feel like rebuilding this is going to take time and it's going to take effort on your part and your person's part and part of you wants it but the other part of you is like do I want to do this again do I want to go down this road again I don't know you know but that's what I have for you Leo if this reading resonates please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you here on the next one